10 of them in Interstate 70. I don't. I have these. I have these, and I have only these. And understand, you see the 420? That's not like what I'm going to have for this show. I'm anticipating at this point that that's what I'm going to have for the whole rest of the year. Yeah, it's, it's I been... I don't anticipate 1986s mm -hmm. to start showing up again, okay, is what the problem is. And the 2021S, you just saw that. We just sold out 3,600 of those. Right. Right? So, I mean, you know, good luck finding the estimate coins from... And you'll, you'll notice the 1986 is in a San Francisco bridge label. We just found out last year, we always thought those coins were struck at Philadelphia. The Mint finally released and said, now they were all made at San Francisco. So wow. The first coin and the last coin made at San Francisco. That's why they have the San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge course. All right. Well, that was a two-minute special, 757-195. Again, we're limited, limited, limited. Here's a little sneak peek at one of the coins we have coming up in the second hour of our two-hour show together. So we're going to be taking a look now at the 2021. This is the PR70 Annex, first day of issue, limited edition, 4,300 made in the series. That's it. Silver Eagle dollar coin at 339.95 this proof beautiful mirror finish look at that um, just absolutely gorgeous and when you've got a proof coin obviously harder to get perfect because it's a different technique to create this beautiful mirror I'm kind of moving it a little bit so you can see that mirror finish so normally the United States the, the United States Mint Helen makes uh, the proof silver eagles throughout the year in 2021 of course it's different they made one batch they sold out in six minutes that's it what exists is what exists done gone and over already selling for monstrous premiums in the marketplace i have got coins i've got a few of these coins <laughs> left they're selling extraordinarily well i'll get to you and give you the entire story the rarest regular issue proof silver eagle in the entire series and it's this year this most important These year. are just and beautiful. The rarest and to yeah, have them important. perfect, because I know how hard it is to get to have perfection when you have this uh, beautiful mirror finish. So there you go. Gonna be coming up. So we're gonna continue on and we're gonna start out with I think these are the dinosaurs. Are these the dinosaurs? Yes. <laughs> All right. Super fun. Discovering dinosaurs, um, black rhodium. Can, Canada. This is Canada. It's a 20. Canadian. Can, Canada. I don't know what I'm saying. Canada. Twenty dollars silver coin. It's, it's hilarious. Yeah. It's 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 been a long it's been a long two year and a half. Um, right. One hundred and forty nine dollars and ninety five cents. Because I was looking at the dinosaur about ready to eat the queen, so I was got like thrown. Okay. Because <laughs> that's what it looked like is happening right here, Mike. I don't know if you've seen the 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 way they have them. I really feel like I need to put the queen where she's a little safer. Maybe switch. Yeah, them. Right. I get that. They only made seventy five hundred these obviously immediate sellouts uh, this is was, was Canada made these coins an extraordinarily limited edition as you can see right there and this is their new discovering dinosaurs they did this in the uh, uh, you know they had the silver shine through and then do the background in black rhodium in this particular it's $20 face value Look at that. so it's the discovering dinosaurs so they name each one so you know the name of this coin because that's the T-Rex head right there. So if you look at the Certificate of Authenticity, this is called the Reaper of Death. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Isn't that nice? <laughs> My producer says that's her nickname. Oh, that's interesting. That's right, exactly. <laughs> I see. Oh, that's there, there you go. There you go. So here's the Certificate of Authenticity. I believe it's in French. So, uh, uh, the, French and English. It'll be in both. Uh, uh, Canada's always bilingual. Okay, yeah. there you go. Yeah, I think I think we just flip it around is what, is what my guess is. Yeah. Yes, there it is. Reaper of Death. There it is. That's that's a cheery <laughs> coin show. I did not notice you, that uh, until you pointed that out. Coin show ever. And if you look in there, it, the certificate's probably individually numbered as well. We just got these in. So uh, I cool. know they made 7,500 in the limited edition. Then you're going to have the Canadian Mint. That's such incredible stuff. And so they do. It's a one-ounce silver coin highlighted with black rhodium to really set mm. off the dinosaur and the queen. Save the queen. They, yes. They, they, Said something in between there uh, uh, that you're going to have uh, you're going to have in there. Like you said, I only have 150 coins. Uh, obviously, I'm going to sell these out uh, very, very, very quickly. The certificate's not numbered, uh, unfortunately, but I know it's 
500 coins. And you can see that's the official certificate mm -hmm. of authenticity. It comes in the original government packaging. And it, like I said, it's $20 mm -hmm. face value. $20 face value, and there's that beautiful box done by, like I said, the Royal Canadian Mint uh, I, uh, with that. And this is, I think, the first coin in the series of discovering dinosaurs from 2021. Really, really cool coin. Uh, very, very limited edition. Uh, great way to and, start your collection and start the hour. And, and, and FYI, somebody who does a lot of jewelry, Rhodium is a member of the Platinum family. So to give you an idea of the value of that, if you don't have an HSN card, here's how to get one. You know, we've got several coins in our two-hour show that you have VIP financing if you have an HSN card. You get $10 off a single item when you open and use an HSN card to apply or for more details, go to hsn.com, put an HSN card in the search or call the 800 number 695-1418. We're gonna take a teeny little break and we'll be right back. Get set for Big Deals Weekend. From electronics to jewelry, spring cleaning, wellness, and more, you'll find deals you won't want to miss. Enjoy select sale prices that brighten your spring and boost your budget. Starting Saturday on HSN and at hsn.com. With the power of HP from HSN, reinvent how you work, how you play, how you live. Technology that makes life better for everyone, everywhere, and deals designed for every budget. HP on HSN and at hsn.com. Come with us on a journey to Greece and discover innovative beauty solutions that are time-tested. Powered by the Greek flora, Perez harnesses a wealth of plant species that exist only in Greece. We handpick our Greek botanicals and extract them in our own labs. By combining the best of nature with science, Perez delivers powerful results in each product. Immerse yourself in the beauty of Perez on HSN and HSN.com. Well, I'm so glad you're coming back and hanging out with us here at HSN. We have a two-hour coin show. We've got less than an hour left of it, and we're going to continue on with exciting items in this unprecedented year of coin collecting. 2020 and 2021 has been just really uh, one for the books, as they say. We've had several sellouts in our first hour already. This is the 2021 MS70 Perfect Condition Grading Company's PCGS first strike silver eagle coin dollar at 129.95 three flex pay of 47 dollars and 32 cents mike what is first strike first strike means they're coins they got within the first 30 days of issue so those had to be at pcgs in january okay, okay. those had to be at pcgs in january to be able to do this to get that first strike now this green rim uh, the green holder the, the rim around the coin and the green box that's exclusive uh, uh to me right now on that particular one with the pcgs that you see there with the 2021 so we should we use the green ring because it's the green box remember we talked about how, how the coins come in the green box yeah i think it looks really cool yeah it's so, the exact green of the green box yeah, right. They nailed and, it. And that's, that's <laughs> the way we did it. We nailed it, right? Yeah. Uh, here's the thing. Annex, first strike, first day of issue. Annex, first uh, uh, first day of issue, uh, was our today's, uh, if you remember, our, our today's special yep. on New Year's Eve, Eve right? Yep. Uh, we sold 15,000 coins or whatever it was. Sold them out. Uh, we sold out all of our Annex coins. Uh, we sold out currently all of our NGC coins. This is my first try, my first opportunity to bring in PCGS coins, okay? Okay. To bring in PCGS coins uh, uh, for this that you're going to see right here at $129.95. Now, you can see these are type 1, okay? These are type 1 coins. And as you can see, it, it says right there from a mint sealed box. So... We go back to the whole Silver Eagle thing, okay? <laughs> the United yeah. States Mint is changing the design of the American Silver Eagle. It has looked exactly like this since mm -hmm. 1986, mm -hmm. that first year of issue, that coin that you just saw, that 86, until now. That ends, that ends in about June of this year. In roughly July, the Mint hasn't given us an exact date yet. I think they're, they're approaching that with great trepidation, uh, given the fact that it is going to be, it's going to be ridiculous. It's going to be a tsunami of demand. Uh, so whenever they announce it, but this coin ends. This is the last of what they call the Type 1 design, the classic design, the heraldic eagle design that has gone on for now. This is, I guess, its 36th year uh, that, it, that uh, it has been going on. And so then we will start in July, the new coin, the Type 2. But this is the coin I'm warning you about. 
This is the coin that I think within three or four or five weeks or two weeks <laughs> is going to, I think, the mint is short tens of millions of coins for what they've made and what the demand is. The average person, even the average coin collector, even many experienced coin collectors, I don't think realize just how scarce these are going to get within the next three to eight weeks. Because the United States government can't start making the new coin on release day, that type two coin, and they know the demand is going to exceed even this. And we're 20 million coins short on this coin, okay? Hmm. So they're going to start making the type twos in April. We're already in March, okay? April may be May, but I'm assuming April. Once they do that, they're going to stop making these coins. There's going to be a several weeks, even perhaps two-month period, where the United States Mint is putting no silver eagles into the marketplace. Already, as we speak, premiums for this coin are running at all-time highs. There's no doubt about it. They're only going to make maybe 10 or 11, maybe 12 million of these coins. If they made 35 million, we could sell every single solitary one of these. There are stories everywhere. There are no what we call live silver eagles, coins that are available, coins that we have in hand. Now, understand, we knew that this transition would be a big deal. We literally bought tens of millions of dollars worth of silver eagles, and we're running out. I can't imagine people who are buying just in time like most coin dealers do. So we are, we are on the ragged edge of just simply not having coins available for sale. Not just us, but everybody out there in the marketplace. And this one right here is this fantastic, fantastic first strike. And this is going to be, once again, this is going to be PCGS Mint State 70 Type 1, absolutely perfect in our custom holder and custom ring that you're going to see right now. This is one of those coins that I really, truly just demand that you get it. I just don't think, if you've listened to me for 20 years here, to, uh, when I tell you, look, you really, really, really want this coin, because, like I said, wait, and I'm just giving you the inside information. I'm pulling back the curtain here, and I'm telling you that I think premiums, which are on all-time highs, I think are going to double. I think supplies are well short. I think demand as we get to the new design, get closer to the new design, will go even higher. And then I think you have the entire silver issue as well. Fantastic, fantastic coin. Okay, so if you want to get in on it, the item number is 748-715-129.95 is the price. We are doing flex pay on this. So $43.35 if you would like to order it. We're going to continue on. We've got about 45 minutes left in the show. Now, almost 100 of you have already pre-ordered this item from uh, just, you know, from mentioning it. It is the 2021 MS, it is the 2021 PR70, excuse me, Annex, first day of issue, limited edition, 4,300 silver eagle coin. I, I think that, and by the way, it comes with the Red Oak presentation box. And if you're, if you're someone who's a collector and for the beauty of the coin, I, I think that you can, you know, like a perfect condition proof coin, there's just nothing like it, Mike. Right. And I get it's pretty, okay? And, and I like that too. I prefer proof coins because, I mean, you know, they're, they're, they're you have to understand proof coins, proof is not a condition. It's a method of manufacturing. They make proof coins differently. Mm -hmm. They're struck multiple times under higher pressures to give it that mirror finish. They're the collector coins made by the United States Mint. They call the, the Mint State coins are called the Mint State coins are called business strike coins for a reason. These are the collector editions, and the United States Mint puts a mint mark on it. It's like an artist signing a proof or whatever it is. All right. So. Here's what happened with the proof coins. And this is, this is going to also only get worse. So the United States Bank was supposed to sell the proof coins, start selling the proof coins on January, I think it was January the 7th of this year. They traditionally released the proof coins at the very, very first week of the year. They announced just, I think, December 30th. They announced no proof coins they canceled the release date on the proof coins. Mm. 
but they realized very quickly, they realized early, that they simply absolutely cannot keep up with demand on the mint stake coins, which by law, they're required to meet demand of the mint stake coins, in essence, before they make the proof coins. That's, uh, you know, that's part of what their thing is. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's why in 2009 there's no proof American Silver Eagle because there was, the demand was so high on the min state coins they were never able to make any proof coins because they had to make the demand of these. Well, they'd pre-made a few of these, about 300,000 of these. Then I think they decided, like, we're not going to be able to catch these up at all. So in February, on February 11th, they released these to the general public. They sold out on the United States Mint website in six minutes. Oh, my goodness. They sold out in six minutes. Now, you have to understand. No proof, regular annual issue proof American Silver Eagle is old, ever sold out in six minutes. As a matter of fact, I don't think any one of them has ever sold out in six days. And they always come back and make more. Like last year's coin was sold out for several months, but they came back and made a bunch more coins. They're not going to do this because they've got to get ready for the Type 2s. They were anticipating not only doing a West Point Mint proof Silver Eagle, but they wanted to do a San Francisco Mint proof Silver Eagle in the Type 1. San Francisco Mint proof Type 1's off the table. So this is going to be the only 2021 Type 1 proof American Eagle, which sold out in six minutes. So you obviously know what happened in the marketplace when it sold out in six minutes. I mean, yep. prices doubled literally in seven minutes. Yeah. And so that's what has happened. That's before they were certified. That's before anything else. And so that's what we've got with this, okay? That's what we've got right here. And so because they couldn't make any additional coins, here's the rub on this. Here's the incredible part about this. So you have a coin that's going to have demand that is unlike anything that has, uh, the United States Mint has ever experienced in the Silver Eagle program. And you've got the collector edition coin mm -hmm. right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This right. is the 21. But here's the problem. With the quantity that they made, it is also the rarest annual proof Silver Eagle made in the entire series by the United States Mint. So now you have the coin that has got the greatest demand because it's the final year of issue, because it's the final year of issue, and now it is the rarest proof American Silver Eagle, like I said, annual issue proof Silver Eagle that the United States government has ever made. Wow. And it's amazing that I can do it for $339.95. We were very actively involved in getting this coin uh, during sellout. We were able to get enough of these coins to be able to offer 4,300 coins. We have already, I think we've already, as you said, we've sold several of these coming into it. I think we've already sold over 1,000 of these. We have already sold over 1,000 of these coins at 339 Now, here's the problem. Yeah. If I were to go into the marketplace to buy these coins right now, my price would be more like four ninety nine or four forty nine. Who knows where these are gonna go because there will be no more in the marketplace. What's made is made, what's done is done. And once because the mint everybody thinks the mint may come back and make these coins and they reserve the right to do that. But I can tell you with ninety nine point nine nine percent certainty they're not making any more of these. Because they have to. If they're making proof coins, they're going to make proof type twos. They're going right. to make proof the new design is what they're going to make. Right. So that's what the situation is. That's what you need to understand what your opportunity is with this as well. This is something that you must have in your collection because it is the only proof Silver Eagle from 2021 in the Type 1 design. They're not going to do an estimate. They're not going to do a spec. They're not going to do anything. They're pointing towards Type 2. So in this last year, this transition coin, this legacy coin, this only six months coin, right, this is it. This is the only coin that's going to be made, and it was sold out in six minutes. What's going to happen when my coin – so we saw what happened when all the mint state coins – and this was just released, like I said, a couple weeks ago. The mints just started shipping them five days ago, okay? So that's why, well, they sold them all on the 11th. We've just started selling them because the mint delayed shipping forever. And the reason? The mint shipping facility was taken uh, – they, uh, they had some COVID issues in the shipping center. 
So they had to shut down, I think, two of the three shipping lines. Uh, we don't know the exact story, but we know there was some there were some COVID shutdowns in the shipping center. So the shipping on these coins were delayed weeks. We're finally getting them. Finally, everybody's going to get them. And then when everybody realizes there's not enough coins in the marketplace and a coin that's already doubled in price, I would get in and buy this one right here, right now. I agree 100%. And it's, yes, it's beautiful. It's the 2021 type one. And, you know, I wonder, Mike, are we going to be able to get the new design? Are they going to make? We probably don't even know yet if they're going to make the type two in 2021 in proof. Well, we assume that they're going to. But right. understand, if they can't keep up with the man of the men's Right, then they won't even make that. So who right, they won't even make that. I'm assuming they'll get to it because I think they find it fundamentally important. The one thing I will tell you is, is if they're making the type two, they cannot. There's no possible way for them to make any more of the type one. Right. They're not going to go back. Oh, we only have X number of the type one. We're making the type two, but let's throw in a couple of those. That's and not going to happen. I think you have millions of collectors mm -hmm. waiting to see if the government comes back and makes some more proof coins. And when they don't and they realize that's not going to happen. This is the coin. Okay, this, <laughs> right. Then it becomes a whole new, uh, well, I better get one now. Well, by then it's too late. By then it's too late. By, by then it's already gone. Okay. Uh, by then, good luck. <laughs> right. Is ultimately what it comes down to. And this, well, I normally, you know, I have a limited of my first day of issue. Understand, I, I don't think there's going to be a non-first day of issue Right. For me. I mean, and first day of issue is first day of issue. Who knows what it's going to be? Right. I mean, the last great proof silver eagle that the United States government made was the 2019S. And, of course, it was made in fantastically limited quantities, but that's still about a $3,000 coin, okay, in wow. 70. So once the frenzy starts, there's really no stopping it. And right. that's, where, that's where we're at. And that's the thing I'm trying to impress upon everybody tonight. And, and I, look, I don't want to be an alarmist. I don't want to be like, oh, my gosh, my hair's on fire. Although, you know, it's the way I talk sometimes. <laughs> yes, um, I've noticed. But, but, but understand, <laughs> I guess I'm just trying to convey the things that I spend 10 hours a day on the mm. phone hearing, okay? I'm right. just trying to convey the actual rarity. There's mintages and there's this and there's that. But at the end of the day, mm -hmm. what something sells for and what something's desirable of, right, is, uh, is how many people want it. I mean, one of the things I like to collect pattern coins. Some of the pattern coins I collect, there's only 30 or 40 of them in existence, right? But there's only about 20 of us that really care. <laughs> you know, okay. so they're not particularly expensive, right? Right. So, you know, uh, so, so that's not a big deal. But in this, everybody cares about this. And that's what I hear. Every single solitary day, that's what I hear, is people say, I want the 2021 Silver Eagle. That, and I just have to have silver of any kind. I mean, I have literally friends of mine uh, calling me that I've not talked to in years and years. Hey, can you get me silver coins? And, I mean, people that are so uninitiated, they're like, what's the difference between silver and gold? I mean, I mean, those are the questions. Those are the people that are getting into the market. So now yeah. let's translate that to numismatics, all right, where people really want these numismatically collectible coins. Now you have people, uninitiated people, into the marketplace. You have the rarest proof silver eagle ever made by the United States government. Okay, add all that in. That's sold out in six minutes. And understand if that happened in any year of the American silver eagle, it would be cataclysmic but it happened in the last year of issue it actually happened in the last six months of issue of this because they're only making this coin for six months and in this coin they sold it literally they literally sold it not for six months but for six minutes Mm. but for six minutes. And that's what you have here is the proof coin and certified first day of issue, and it's individually numbered, and it's certified absolutely positively perfect. You understand, our 4,300 coins that we have here, you know how diligently we went out there to get coins? This represents, by the time the number of coins I had to buy to get them in state 70s, this represents about 2.5% of the entire mintage. About one of every 40 coins in existence of the proof silver eagles I bought. Okay. Wow. To be able to do this deal. And by the time you add in my NGCs and everything else, I we we probably bought and have available for sale here five percent, I would say, of the entire mintage. Five percent of every silver eagle ever made. And I'm running out. I'm already not having enough coins. Okay? And I've been selling these for seven days. 
<laughs> yeah. We yeah. still have we still have a whole bunch of months left. Even by the way, this is really, really popular, Mike. Too. Everybody is loving this, and it is very, very popular. And we worked together for a long time, and it's not like you were saying, like, your hair is on fire, like you're talking. I hear the passion in your voice that is really trying to convey. Ellen, Please that's get passion, this. That's fear. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I can't see you. I just hear you, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm not here to make you feel safe, Mike, but I, I know you're afraid that people are going to miss out on this, right? Right. right. Yeah. And like I said, I am passionate. I love coins. You know that. I, I mean, do I, know that. that comes through. I mean, I'm a collector myself and all that. But for this, I'm trying to explain every. I'm afraid coins are going to be hard to get. I'm afraid that I may there may be shows I have down the road I may not even be able to literally do because it's not like I can make the coins myself. They frown on that. <laughs> right, and they do. I mean, literally it's not, not have bad. coins to sell. Yeah. I mean, we're getting perilously. I don't have any NGC coins in the show. I can't even keep up. They can't even keep up with it. And, I mean, they're, they're, they're great more coins than ever. It's just crazy what's going on in the marketplace. And this is the perfect example of this. This is the perfect example of what's happening in the marketplace because this is the proof silver eagle. So this is the most the most eagerly anticipated design put out by the United States or, or thing that's put out because it's the collector edition. So now in this most collectible, most in demand years of the American silver eagle, the United States Mint made the least. Mm. So not only is it the most popular, but it's in the annual issue, Silver Eagle, since 1986, it's the rarest. Like I said, I don't, you don't have to have an economics degree from Harvard, right, to figure out that supply and demand curve, all right? You, 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 that's intuitive when you look at this, say, okay, this is the design. Everybody wants the last year of issue. Everyone's first year of issue, last year of issue, and particularly this last year since it's only for, for six months. I mean, they're going to do both designs in the same year. They made each design for the whole year they couldn't make enough, let alone for half a year. So now you're going to get this where everybody has to have this last year of design. This is the only proof eagle that they're going to make in Type 1 for 2021 that is sold out in six minutes. Yeah, I mean— it's sold out in six minutes, and this is what I'm mm -hmm. left with. This is all I have. And it's, a, and it's more than just about anybody else on the planet, and it's not going to be enough. Right, and you, you do get the Red Oak presentation box with it, so uh, I just wanted to show that to you. I know that that's everybody's, you know, ordering this like like, like it's, you know, like it's a coin that's very, very, <laughs> they're going to be very, very valuable. So I love that, that there's so many of you that know Mike and hear the passion in his voice. And really, uh, Mike, we're going to miss doing coins with you when there's no more coins to get. <laughs> I just yeah. want to say well, goodbye. We'll do what we can. <laughs> we'll do, okay. Well, yeah, well, it's I mean, going to be it's, sad. It's a legitimate thing. I mean, the shortages of coins in the marketplace today are, are legitimate, you know, they're, they're legitimate concerns. And you see this. I mean, I have hundreds hundreds of these being sold right now. I have hundreds of these being sold right now. And this quantity that I have, that's not for this show, this 4,300. No, that's and it. And I already sold 1,000 <laughs> coming into this show. Mostly on hsn.com. I think I've had one airing on this, right? Yeah. So and we sold 1,000 of these. And so you have to understand, this is what I have, 4,300, is forever. And, when you know, every time I go on the air, you know, if I sell 1,000, all of a sudden, what happens in April when I'm, you know, I'm three shows from now and I don't have any more of these proof American Silver Eagles? Yeah. And understand, like I said, go out there. The United States Mint, like I said, sold out in six minutes. Wow. Sold out in six minutes. And it's, and it's funny. And, and, and I, like I said, they may make more. I mean, you know, they've lied to me before. Right. But... But, and, and, it's, and, and I don't want to, that's not, that's a little pejorative. It's, right. The fact that they would like to make more, they don't like there to be huge shortages of coins. Right, they would, they would like that, but the way things are going. They would like everybody to be able to collect the coins that they want to collect. But the fact of the matter is, is with everything going on, with limited production at all of the mints, they're just not able to keep up with demand. They're doing the very best that they can with this. And the fact is, is there's just not enough coins. And now when you have this transition, uh, transition, into the new design in July of this year. Now all of a sudden demand is at an all-time high and production is essence at a 20-year low. 
So you have you have production that's that's doing nothing because they're restricted by by you know the, the you know the COVID restrictions within the federal government. And you have demand not only in the numismatic and collectible market, but just for silver coins in general. And then you know, then you have the people who like to collect pretty coins. You know, like I said, the proof coins, as you pointed out, are so gorgeous. And then now they're limited edition. Now they're the rarest. And that is that is what happens when this happens. That's what happens when this uh, all gets together. All right, this is exciting. What we've got coming up. The show is just so many exciting items. So. 2021. Slightly, I do have one NGC coin. Yes, the, and here it is. This is and the here it is. P, right PR70. So it's a proof 70, perfect condition. NGC Grading Company, West Point Mint, advanced releases, Silver Eagle. Now it's 699.95. I do have VIP financing on this. So if you purchase this with your HSN card, you have an entire year to pay it off. It breaks down to about $58.33 a month. If you do even payments, of course you can pay it off early. Purchase it with your HSN card. Here's how to get one. Go to hsn.com, put an HSN card in the search, or you can call the 800 number, which is 6951418, to have a year to pay off a coin like this. And yes, we know this is an investment. That's why we do this with the HSN card for our VIPs that have an HSN card. You do get the Red Oak presentation box as well. So tell us about this coin. Yeah, I Early have to release. talk to you about this advanced release. You're so kidding. the mint, in, so we're, we're in the middle of this pandemic. They can't make enough coin. Mm -hmm. They do all this. They, they start a new program that's called Advanced Release. There's 18 dealers, of which, of course, I am one of them. Okay, they're 18 biggest dealers, and we get the opportunity to buy proof coins, to buy a certain, there's a certain number of coins over the course of the year, certain types of coins that we get to buy ahead of time. And this is the first coin they ever did that with, and it's called Advanced Release. We were able to get our coins, in essence, before the official release date. Now, I can't sell them or do anything with them until after the release date, but we get these coins, and they are, and they're in essence, certified for the provenance of this Advanced Release. Advanced Release amounts to 10%, total 10% of all the coins that were made. So there were 300,000 proof silver eagles. There's 30,000 advanced release, which is the same mintage as the 2019S, okay, which is the two or $3,000 coin. They did 30,000 of these. But in advanced release, there's only 30,000 coins. Now, there's 18 dealers that did this. They're going to send them to PCGS. We sent some. We had a. We had a. So each one of the eighteen guys gets the same exact amount, a tranche, a, a slice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Our annex slice, another one of, uh, that I was able to bring in. So I'm re representing three of the eighteen slices. Okay, <laughs> is is what it comes down to. I have three of the eighteen slices with being my my relationship. The <laughs> annex coins, uh, uh, the advanced release, pre-release annex coins are gone. Sold out in a single show, 1,100 coins. Wow. 1,100 coins. There were 1,100 of these advanced release. You notice that that advanced release is a registered trademark with NGC. That's how important this new program is. There's going to be a handful of coins over the course of the year, <coughs> excuse me, that the, that the United States Mint will do an advanced release. And they are tiny, tiny, tiny fractions of the coins that are out there. So understand, while there were 30,000 total coins, you know, only, I don't know, 8,000 of them maybe went to NGC. Only 8,000 of them. I got one of the complete tranches of this, and these are already down to 540 coins is all that I have left. As you can see, it's a registered trademark, has that special advanced release logo on mm -hmm. it as well. So what you now have is collectability that is truly spectacular because it's a new level of provenance. It, it, I think the closest thing I can come up with, and we've been selling coins together long enough to remember when they did show releases. Mm hmm when the Mint would release coins at a show, like, ahead of time. That was a long time that ago. Their, well, that was a nightmare. I mean, they <laughs> would, you know, they, I remember when they released the Gold Kennedy, I think it was in Philadelphia. It might have been Chicago, I don't know. There were fist fights. There was lines around the block. Because these coins that were $600 at the time were worth, as soon as someone came out of line, someone would hand them 3000 bucks for it. 
you know? And so people, I mean, people are literally fighting to try to get their coin to mint in. Enough of that. Okay, we're going to do a pre-release, but we're going to do it in a in a in a civilized <laughs> in way. an orderly manner. In an orderly <laughs> manner, that's yeah. right, to, to protect the patrons from uh, you know from further damage. And so that's what we have here with this advanced release. So it is this very special, and most people don't have never heard of this because it's a brand new designation. This is the very first coin that has hit this advanced release. Uh, this this advanced release designation, and you can see it's Heraldic Eagle Type 1, advanced releases, Proof 70, Ultra Cameo, NGC, and of course there's going to be advanced release coins from PCGS. There's going to be advanced release coins from Annex. Our, our pre-release Annex coins are already sold out. I think they were $599, something like that. We sold out every single solitary one of them. <clears throat> so you have the regular Proof coin sold out in six minutes, this sold out before it was even released, so this is the pre-release coin, okay? So this is the pre-release sellout with this. Same coin, in essence, in terms of the fact that it's completely and totally sold out from the government. So you have the rarest annual issue Silver Eagle that the United States government has ever made. And now you have it in its rarest format that has ever been able to be released in what we call this pre-release. So it only represents 10% of what is already the rarest annual issue Silver Eagle that the United States government has ever made. It's a pretty spectacular, pretty spectacular opportunity. Item number 759003. Remember, you can do VIP financing. If you have an HSN card, you get a year to pay this particular coin off, $58.33. We're moving on to our next offering in our two-hour show. We only have about 20 minutes left in our two-hour show. This is save for the show for prime time. 2021 MS70 PCGS Philadelphia Emergency Issue Silver Eagle, $409.95, three flex pay of $136.65. And this is, I, I love the cover on this, and you do get the Red Oak presentation box. Yeah, this is what's called the Empire Core. This is an exclusive core. Uh, we're not going to spend a lot of time on this one, okay? I don't have a lot of quantity anyway. Okay. So remember when we talked about when the United States government made the West Point minted coin? Yes. Okay? Yep. We understand that they did that. The West Point mint couldn't keep up. They asked the San Francisco mint to chip in, and they did, all right? Yep. And so they, they, they chipped in, and they made some coins that sold out immediately. It wasn't enough. They asked the Philadelphia mint to chip in, and they did, okay? And they did, and they didn't make enough. And that's these are the Philadelphia minted coins that you're going to see right here. These are the Philadelphia mini coins, and these are going to be, and here's the key to this, okay? And this is a very difficult designation to get. This is PCGS first day of issue. PCGS has got very strict guidelines for first day of issue. I, only a tiny fraction of their coins qualify for first day day of issue. They have to be there like within 48 hours or 24 hours of the release of the coin and physically be in the PCGS facility. Now, the problem with that is PCGS is in California. Okay, so that mm -hmm. means you either have to drive them out there, okay? <laughs> you got to drive them out there right. or you got to overnight them. Well, overnight a couple hundred pounds of silver and see what that'll cost you uh, uh, to be able to do that. So these are first day of issue with the exclusive Empire Core that you're going to have their Philadelphia emergency issue. So once again, the rarest of the 2021 mint state coins, they're almost, in all honesty, they're almost as rare as the proof coins, the Philadelphia mint coins in general. The, uh, the first day of issue PCGS, I mean, they're as rare as the advanced release. They're as rare as, as anything out there in the uh, mint state coins that you're going to have with uh, PCGS first day of issue. Uh, uh, that's an incredibly, incredibly difficult designation. And these are the Philadelphia minted coins that are done in the first day of issue. Like I said, with the exclusive excuse me, with the exclusive Empire Core as well. So they did three coins, three men's state coins. They did West Point Mint. They couldn't keep up. They tried. They had a little extra San Francisco. Those sold out. So then they had to have a few extra Philadelphias. Those sold out immediately. And this isn't just the Philadelphia, the rarest men's state coin of 2021 in Type 1 by far. But it's also now, again, that little subset of the first day of issue PCGS. And it's not just first day of issue PCGS, it's first day of issue Empire Core. 
which is even rarer and even more desirable uh, out there in the marketplace. Yeah, and so if you'd like to pick this up, we do have it on FlexPay. We've got more coming up, so keep shopping, 756-494. We're gonna take a little break, and when we come back, we've got the Kennedys coming up. So here's a little message, and I'll see you in a sec. I just can't take my eyes, I just can't take my eyes, I just can't take my eyes off of you. Get the best deals on the things you love with the HSN card. As an HSN card VIP, you'll get all kinds of perks, like 12-month VIP financing on select items, plus extra flex on beauty, jewelry, shoe, and fashion purchases all day every day. And at least eight VIP savings events a year. Includes fraud protection, and there's no annual fee. Apply now and instantly get $10 off when you're approved. Call 1-800-695-1418 or visit hsn.com slash hsncard. Well, thank you for watching HSN. My name is Helen Keeney. I am your host of our two-hour coin show, of which we have about 20 minutes left. We're going to continue on with our next offering, and these are the Silver uh, Kennedys. So it's the last of the Silver Kennedys. It's a 20-coin half-dollar roll, which I they come to you in this little packaging like this. And when Mike is here, he usually doesn't let me touch anything. So I'm very excited <laughs> that he's on the phone because uh, I'm able to show it to you I get to touch it and I get to hear that clinking sound which is I love I love playing with it and by the way you will not get one that the show host has uh, handled <laughs> the FYI right Mike well, that's really important because these are brilliant. So these are the last of the silver. So uh, the United States government stopped making silver Kennedy half dollars in 19, in 1970 in essence. So what we have, these coins are all 50 years old or older. They're silver. And you're going to get 20 of them for $249.95. Let me, let me bottom line this for you, okay? They're silver coins and I have them. That should be enough. <laughs> you're right. I probably, I probably shouldn't have to say anything else, but I will. <laughs> um... Over the last three or four weeks, what we call physical silver, which is what this is, coins that are silver of a fungible size, like I said, a half dollar, you know what I'm saying, it, uh, have basically disappeared from the marketplace. They have become the most highly sought after thing. So, you know, I read message boards and all this other stuff, and they're saying, oh, my gosh, I finally got three ounces of, of silver. Premiums are at an all-time high. Uh, and so what I was able to do is I was able to buy primarily because of the proof silver eagles. Because I had some, and there's someone else who needed some, and he had some of these silver Kennedys. And these are brilliant uncirculated, by the way, so they're numismatically significant as well, and I'll talk about that here in a minute. So I was able to bring in enough for this show. So you get 20 silver Kennedy half dollars. Now, here's the amazing part. My regular HSN price, last time I sold this, it sold extraordinarily well, was $279. Demand has doubled, tripled. These coins have disappeared from the marketplace. Good luck finding silver anywhere. I took $30 off the price. That makes sense. I got sense. a really good price <laughs> on this. Yeah, I was going to say. And, you know, I know that when you are shopping around and when you get a really good price, you let us get a really good price. You, that's you have, the point. Yeah, that's what you've always done. Right, and so then I go, because, I mean, you know, I bought these at, for kind of the silver price, and then the coins I get are brilliant uncirculated. So they've got this numismatic value. So then I go to the nationally advertised catalog to look at their pricing for brilliant uncirculated coins, and I notice that their price, see, I lowered our price. I lowered our price by 10%. When I went to the nationally advertised uh, catalog price, they went up 15%. So the last time we sold these, they were absolutely on fire. And now they're, in essence, against catalog 25% less, okay, yeah. against the individual price. As a matter of fact, individually, coin by coin, nationally advertised catalog, $22.50 a coin. So you save 10, we're 12.50. You save 10 
dollars per coin. You say two hundred dollars on the numismatic value. And let's face it, so many people are going to buy these for the silver value of these coins. Right. And here's the problem: is all of these silver coins are disappearing. I have a I have a, a good friend of mine who has a big coin shop, and uh, two weeks ago there was a monster run on silver. And I asked him, I said, how are things going? He says, I just had the biggest day I've ever had since I've been a coin dealer. And he's been a coin dealer his whole life. And I said, so what do you sell? He said, everything. And I said, what do you mean everything? He says, I mean, I sold everything. I, th I saw things I've never seen before. People came in and said, what do you have for silver? I'll take it. They never even asked the price. It was such a big day that there was someone who had bought a lot of silver from him over the course of the years came in to sell it back to him. It was $700,000 worth of silver. Well, oh, my goodness. He wrote them a check and sold that $700,000 worth of silver in his shop before the end of the day. Before the end of the day. Before the end of the day. <laughs> so he did literally millions of dollars on that one day. And now what happened is, is all of the silver coins that are in the marketplace, for, I mean, that includes silver eagles. I mean, you know, silver eagles. But all silver coins have basically disappeared. All silver coins are bringing premiums unlike anything we've ever seen. And my response to that is to give you 20 brilliant uncirculated Kennedy half dollars for $30 off. Okay, I'm mm -hmm. saving you an extra dollar and a half a coin. Now, here's the problem. Normally, when I get these, normally when I get these coins, I've got 1,000, 1,500, 2,000 rolls. I've got 500 rolls. At this price, I've got 500 rolls because this is a situation where I can, I can only sell the coins that I literally own. I can't mm -hmm. go out and look for coins. Silver could go up $10 tomorrow. The premiums could double tomorrow or triple tomorrow. I literally have 500 rolls. Now, understand, that's 10,000 coins. I have every indication, as you can see right here, how fast these are going, that we're going to sell all 500 of these rolls right here, right now. Because for that 249 it's 20 coins. And they are brilliant, uncirculated. Like I said, you're buying them for silver, whereas the numismatic value is $22.5 a coin. But you have the backdrop of that fantastic intrinsic value, the fact that these are all silver. Can I stop making silver Kennedys 50 years ago? Yeah, okay, and, and by the way, ago. the set that I just ruined by playing with, <laughs> it yeah. looks beautiful. I mean, they look like they were made yesterday. Right, precisely. And that's what we're looking at. So what you have is, like I said, so the United States government stopped making silver Kennedys 50 years ago. And keep in mind, these were at the time made for circulation. So, I mean, it's circulated. I mean, in the catalog, they're 1950, just for XF, you know, VFXF. But these are brilliant uncirculated. So that's why in the catalog, they're $22.50 a coin. We're almost 50% off the numismatic value, the collector value, you know, uh, that, 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 like I said, what collectors pay for them because they want uncirculated coins that are 50 years old. What drives the price of these is the silver that's contained in each and every coin, is the silver that's contained in each and every coin. And each one of these deals that you have is 20 coins. And so what you have is many, many people buying multiples of these. So here's what happens. People are doing the math. They're going, okay, so they're silver coins. You have them. They're in stock. They're ready to go. I need to buy these right here, right now, because you have these coins in stock. And in the silver world right now, that's the key. We actually have the coins. There are so many people out there, well, I'll have coins next week or the week after. They maybe will and maybe don't. But I've got the coins right here, right now. And that's what's of critical importance, that we've got the coins. We have them available. They're brilliant uncirculated. And from the last time I sold them two weeks ago, they're, in essence, 25% less because the catalog price went up to uh, – 
$450. My price went down to $249 in the face of a market that nobody has coins in. And why is that? Because there's a guy that needed proof silver eagles. Well, yeah. And the guy needed proof silver eagles, and the only thing he had that I needed was the Kennedy half dollars. So you got and a good so deal. Because of that, he gave me, sold me 10000 Kennedy half dollars, and that's what I'm offering right here, right now. Yeah, because I don't think I've ever sold these at two forty nine ninety five, which, ironically, they've never been more in demand. So to lower the right. price when the demand is higher, it's usually the opposite of, of that's how it usually works. I remember works. the last time silver took a monster run, went to $50 an ounce. I sold, we sold these for $499. You know, we were $499, and I couldn't keep them in. I was selling them by the thousands. That's where we're at in this situation right now. I'm in the fact that, you know, we're at, we're at I think, at the, at the beginning, we're at a base price of silver. But it's not just the price of silver. I think personally, it's just personally, I think silver is unnaturally low. Okay, in the marketplace. I think it's at an unnaturally low price mm -hmm. uh, for the demand that I see. There's a cross between the price of silver and the demand. <clears throat> because what happens is, is people, people uh, start following like paper silver, you know, like uh, stock market silver, like SLV and, you know, kind of all these stocks. When the real action, the real shortage, the real thing to own in silver is actual silver. Actual silver. Physical yeah. silver. And physical silver, there's like these SL, like SLB or COMEX or some of these that are supposed to have silver reserves. Like there, I think I read an article, they're 80 million ounces short. So they're supposed to go into the marketplace and buy 80 million ounces of silver. Okay, they're supposed to buy 80 million ounces of silver. How do you think that's going to affect the silver market <laughs> when they go in and buy 80 ounces of silver? The United States Mint bought 50 million ounces of silver late last year, okay, to get ready for this year. And it drove the price of silver from about $16 an ounce to almost $30 an ounce. Okay, so what happens if they have to go in there and buy 80 ounces, 80 million ounces, or 100 million ounces, or 120 million ounces of silver? That's what you're up against. And so for me to have physical silver, so it's not just that we have it. I have it in stock rate of ship, and I've got it at a great price. Yeah, you've got it on sale, money on I'm sale. I'm willing to sell it, <laughs> yeah. okay? That's great. I mean, I, this is obviously very popular. You see we have 439 left. Um, and then, uh, again, all, all the people ordering online and calling in right now. The item number to order is 371563. Just like another minute and a half on this, Mike, before we have to move on to make sure we get everything else in, in the show. Yeah, and I understand that we have to get everything in the show. But here's the thing, and I want to impress upon you that this is very uh, fungible, the price. Silver goes up, I mean, you know, dramatically. I mean, I mean, you know, you know, I have to, in essence, reflect that. I mean, it's sad but true, but I have to reflect that. <laughs> Excuse me. And as a matter of fact, I'm just checking. Uh, the Asia silver market is currently open, and silver's up 40 cents an ounce. So silver's up almost 2% uh, in the overnight just between the time I, in essence, started this show and right now. Okay? So, so that's what we're looking at with that in terms of that market. You know, once that opens up in this market, it becomes a different thing. So you get 20 silver Kennedys. You get them brilliant uncirculated. The numismatic value, like I said, in the nationally advertised catalog, $22.50 a coin. You're paying $12.50 a coin, much closer to the silver value of the coin. And more importantly, and you look in the market today, We've got them in stock, we've got them ready to ship, and that is probably the single most important thing when you're buying physical silver in the market today, is that we have coins. We own coins. We're able to get these coins into your hands, and I think that's critically, critically important for you to understand, and that's why you need to get in. And once again, I've got these 500, I had 520 actually. We're down under 400 now. I would go ahead and get multiples of these, but this is incredible incredible opportunity for you to own physical silver on sale. Um, silver on sale. Item number 371563. If you would like to pick it up, we do have yours waiting for you. We've only got about seven minutes left in the show, so I want to scooch along and I want to show you our next item that we have coming up, which is the 1921 MS64 ICG, uh, this is the last year of the Morgan silver dollars. So it's MS64. Yeah, I, think a couple of, 
Yeah, just a couple quick minutes on this, I think, is what we're going to have. Okay. This is the 100th anniversary of the Morgan Silver Dollar. The United States meant as if the 2021 debacle wasn't enough with the change of the Silver Eagle. Right. They're going to do a 100th anniversary Morgan Silver Dollar. Uh, it's going to, if it wasn't for the Silver Eagle, it would be the coin of the decade. Uh, it's going to be the popularity. So they're going to make Morgan Silver Dollars and date them 2021. It, it's going to be chaos again. I mean, the chaos continues. Well, I do want to mention we have these on VIP financing. You can take a year to pay this off if you purchase it with the HSN card, about $50 a month. So the Morgan Silver Dollar was made, uh, the last year of the Morgan Silver Dollar was 1921. What this set is, is the Philadelphia Mint, the Denver Mint, and the San Francisco Mint, Morgan Silver Dollar, certified Mint State 64. The most interesting part of this is, once again, we have them. Once again, they're, they're choice brilliant uncirculated, but it has the Denver minted coin. The Morgan Silver Dollar was made from 1878 to 1921. It was made one year at the Denver Mint, 1921. So you get the only Denver minted Morgan Silver Dollar. You get the only Denver minted uh, Morgan Silver Dollar that was ever made by the United States Mint. And this is another one of those things. Yeah, and when you... the government starts making the 2021s, all right, everybody's going to want the coin that's 100. And these are the original coins. These aren't the commemorative coins. These are mm -hmm. 100 years old in original, brilliant, uncirculated condition. Philadelphia Mint, Denver Mint, San Francisco Mint, the only year that was made at the Denver Mint in the beautiful custom Red Oak presentation box. I just wanted to mention, yes, that the box is included, does come with it. You can get it on your HSN card, and you will have a year to pay it off. It's just $50 a month. I want to mention that because nowhere else do you collect coins that you're able to do that. Go to hsn.com, put in HSN card in the search or call the 800 number 695-1418. In our final minutes of the show, I want to bring back something that was very, very popular. And if you did not get a chance to get in on this, it's the 1986 and 2021 San Francisco Mint Emergency Silver Eagles for $339.95. I'm going to turn it back over to you, Mike, for our final, final like three, four minutes of the show. Well, like I said, if there is a microcosm of the, of the numismatic insanity that's happening, this set kind of embodies it. Because we talked about this being the end, the end of the uh, uh, Type 1 heraldic design American Silver Eagle. These are the bookends, the first year and the last year. Mm -hmm. It so happens they were both made at the San Francisco Mint in mm -hmm. mid-state. Yes, I have year. the 1986 and the 2021, and the 2021 I have is the San Francisco Emergency Mint. We did this, that so it matched the 1986. The very first year of issue of the, uh, uh, the Silver Eagle, the Mint State coins were made at San Francisco. We always thought they were made at Philadelphia. Actually, only a couple of years ago we found out that they were made at the San Francisco Mint. So that's why it's in the San Francisco Bay Bridge holder that you see right here. So it's the first and the last. And, and so, like I said, so we're, the Mint can't keep up with 20. And they're making 20 and 21. It's not the estimates. They made one, one, one allocation of those. Those were gone weeks ago. Uh, but they continue to, in essence, make those, and they can't meet demand. <clears throat> now let's go back in time 35 years to that first year of issue. That's basically, you know, a third of the production of the average Silver Eagle the last 15 years. And, of course, many of those were melted down. They didn't take very good care of them. So to be able to get this coin in Mint State 69, if this was a Mint State 70 set, I'd be at least $1,000. I think at least $1,000. I don't know that I can even find any of those coins anywhere in the marketplace. 1986 American Silver Eagle, the first year of issue, 2021, the very last year of issue. And here's the thing. I've got 400 of these pairs. This is not something, and, 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 I, and I've done this for two hours now with, with everybody, explaining to people how difficult it is to get coins. And the 86 embodies that. It's, it's hard enough to get the 2021s that were just made, that the Mint's still making. Think about how hard it is to get 1986s. Look, and everybody knew this was coming for two years. So it's not like, oh, my gosh, i got to go get 86s. Everybody's been hoarding these for two years now, okay? Everybody's been hoarding these coins for two years now. And so I've got these, as you can see, I've got 395 left. I have no, I don't figure there's any opportunity that I have to, um, 
uh, uh, to get additional additional 1986 mm. coins. So you get the first, you get the last, you get them certified. Min State 69. I think it's a spectacular. Uh, uh, it's the microcosm of the coin. It's the bookend. We say collect the bookends. Collectors know to collect the bookends. These are the bookends. The first year, the last year. <laughs> and since they're S Mint in the last year, both coins sold out limited editions. And obviously, the 86 sold out 35 mm. years ago. Mm. You can get yours now. Mike, thank you so much. A gr very, very exciting show. And uh, we'll look forward to hearing you again, although not seeing you in person. Right, exactly. I think next Monday, as a matter of fact. Oh, okay. Wonderful. All right, we'll look forward to that. By the way, I would love everyone to go over to hsn.com and see all the incredible coins that Mike brings us so you can check all those out on hsn.com. I hope you stay with us and keep shopping. My good friend Shannon, looking beautiful, is coming up. Lots of great electronics, including another presentation of the Today Special. Hey, girlfriend. Hey, girl. <laughs> you know, we need to do another Helen and Shannon show. We do, but I think we got in so much trouble last time. <laughs> that maybe see good trouble <laughs> good